Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And we do have some new ones tonight. Yay! At least one. Uh, we have Dragon's Havoc. Watch that count. Mm, usually just brushes up against them. We have uh, Dragon's Havoc, the exclusive full updated version Still a work in progress. Okay. Uh, by Todd Fermansky. Nice. Revan Tooley, so I know is in the chat Excellent. tonight. Um, it's a shoot 'em up. You know the dragons, they're flying. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and we also have Adventures of Ollie Troll, which uh, previously is only on cartridge. So we are uh, very happy to be able to play that tonight. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yes, it is a hint of things to come. Uh, <laughs> Dragon's Havoc is not easy. Uh, R Adventures of Ollie Trolls not easy, and Robots Rumble, I see us yes, perishing also. many times. Yes. <laughs> fun, fun, but yes, lots yes. of perishing. And Robots <laughs> Rumble, uh, the final updated binary Ooh, of exciting. that game by Chunky Pixel Games. Nice. Matt Smith, Bobby Clark, and Mike Sarna. So we have some very fun games tonight. And I want to thank the Twitch subscribers who help bring the show to you. <laughs> All down the side beside Tanya, 8 Bit Swami, Alan the Firearms Guard, Coder, Atari H, Big Dog, Susie BR, Pocock, Bucko, and the Chans, Ch Chal, Chals, Chalst, Don Mayo. Still don't know how to say that. Charles Whelan, Chive 5, Dino, Dan, if you see Daryl, 1970, Direct, Sol, Dr. Moo, Cows, Emu, Dan, Fox, Mulder, Great Defender, Ojo, Rapper, Johnny, WC, Carl G, Croco, 2600, Lord, TDZ, Marco, Johannes, Mark Spacing, Ventilatory, Mike Small, Mix, Mike, Mike Littell, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Neo Media, Oppo Kel, Oren Decro, Pacra, VG, Korog, R. Anschwitz, RC70, Rendered, Goes, Repentless, VG, Ricardo, Pimps, Rodcaster, Six Sweet, Yay, Smitty B, Socrates, Spartan, 581, Spice, Rare, Smares, Toy Pig, The D Train, Walshman, 89, Tiki Dan, KTM, <laughs> Events, Trek, MD, uh, Victor, M, uh, X, Ken, X. So if you want to be on that list, just hit subscribe. It's mm -hmm. free if you have Amazon Prime and you link it up. Mm -hmm. um, or you can just follow us and you'll know when the show's on. Like right now, live, unless you're watching on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So I did, I do have a poll question. Ooh, poll. Um, but the poll program, is it working? <laughs> oh, no. no? It, I entered it in like an hour ago and then I tested before the show. Yeah. And it's down. So that'll oh. have to wait till next time. Yeah, well, is it still just spinning? Hold on to it for another show. Yeah, it's still it'll still be good for next show. It's not a timely thing. Well, okay. it's kind of timely, but it's not really. It can wait till Friday. It, it can wait till Friday. Excellent. It's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. So it can go just straight to the news. Uh, so the first piece of news is not really news. It's something I saw. What am I doing here? Oh yeah. <laughs> Going to uh, YouTube video. Uh, let me just mute this because I don't think it's um, very useful to see it. Okay, this is a video I ran across of a C64 oh, game. What? Called Slam Siblings. Wow. And I thought, oh my God, this oh, is really cool. <laughs> and before I even saw this, like, yeah. I don't know, a year or something ago, I thought, oh, this style of game oh it's so popular would, is yeah. very popular yeah, yeah and also could be done on the 2600 or mm. 7800 yeah. very much easier on the 7800 but even a, like it it is the video is zooming in the yes. game does not zoom in like this no 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 i think the game does go side to side and top to bottom oh, um and i thought this would be really cool for two players but also four players using the quad tari because I know the big, mm. the the actual game, um, which is Smash Brothers, right? Yes, yeah. Um, has lots of different players. You could have like, all different kinds. Yeah, yeah eight yeah. players? I don't know what it goes I, I, up to. Yeah, I, At least a, four. So yeah. I thought, um, oh, the Parallax, yes. Um, on the 7800, definitely. Mm. I'm trying to think how you could do it on the 2600. Mm. But I mean, you could do the play field uh, for the platforms easily. Yeah. Like if you just had those as play field just straight up solid things you could jump on mm -hmm. and then you have your two characters and you have Zero missiles <laughs> oh nobody heard that i'll turn on the desktop audio thank you again. carl g carl g thank you for subscribing Woo. Woo uh 
Yeah, I can see. Wait, roster taken from homebrew characters. So are we getting the bear? Yeah, and, that's, uh, that was my second night point. guy, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Just put all the homebrew characters or just retro 80s characters yeah. in it. Yeah. Hi, Karakak. Welcome mm -hmm. to the show. Yep. Um, and this is being done on a C64, which only has one button. So oh. if they can do it on a C64, unless they're using a special controller. Yep, yep. It can be done on a 2600 and definitely extended even further on a 7800. Wow. So I thought this would be a prime game yeah. for making into uh, a port yeah. of what they've done. and A port of a port, it, really. It's quite impressive. I have to say, that's a C64. So, it looks really good. It does. Really good. They've done an amazing job. So, wow. um Phaser Cat Games, you're going to have to get on that. <laughs> yeah, get on it. I think VHZC and I discussed some kind of giant homebrew character collaboration, but never really went anywhere with it. Well, there's a, a, a place to put all the homebrew characters yeah. into. Uh, C64 is a very, very capable. capable. It yeah. is, especially for sound. Yes. Yeah, so I mean, for, yeah, so yeah. good. And I'm not too keen on the colors now that I've discovered Atari <laughs> Com 8-bit computers. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I had no problem with the colors growing up having a C64. Oh, no. But looking at them now, they're like kind of kind of washed out and bland. <laughs> but that's OK. Um, so the next uh, piece of news is an interesting piece of hardware. Uh, that I ran across that somebody posted about, uh, Rossum posted about on the forums, called a Retrovox. Okay. Uh, so what this does, it plugs into your right controller mm -hmm. um, and has some of the functions of the Atari Vox. Um, okay. So let's go over it. Uh, Retrovox is an homage to the Atari Vox based on an ESP32. Uh, let me know if there's interest, and I'll figure out how to get some of these made. It can play MIDI, mod, or MP3 files from Flash, carts, or from the internet. Um, because the ESP32, oh, quick complaining, yeah, uh, has a Wi-Fi built in, just mm -hmm. like the Plus Cart. Uh, it emulates a Yamaha YMF262 YM3812FM synthesis music chip, so it has a very capable sound chip built into it, That's cool. as well as the General Instruments SP0256 uh, speech synthesizer, very well-known 80s synth synthesizer, and has a port of SAM, which was on Atari Apple, at least C64. Sport, it supports keyboards. Oh! Keyboards, <laughs> wireless controllers, uh, because it has wow. Bluetooth oh. and other wireless peripherals. Wireless controllers, wow. Yeah, it's quite that, that, the thing. Wow. Now, that not... Brings, that brings a whole other level to couch compliance. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Having a wireless keyboard. Wow. Now, now, just wait for it. It does even more than that. <laughs> the hardware can be used as a standalone Atari 800 emulator. Um... Uh, the hardware can also yeet graphics through the joystick port to a kernel on the 2600. A 32 by 192 times 4 mode supports a 3D engine with, with texture mapping and room over room non orthogonal geometry. A 9696 by 1 mode supports wireframe, game of life, etc. A few, few ugly photo outputs from an Atari 2600 plus CRT plus Retrovox. Look, look at those 3D maze screenshots like uh, that's probably the best ma looking maze i've ever seen on a yeah. 2600. it's just the i'm angles not on sure it. what they're using to make this wow. like there's seemingly three colors in a row four on some lines yeah look at this line mm. a yellow black pink and green on the same line oh how? How is this possible? <laughs> he hasn't posted a video of this. I have no idea how this is possible. Mm. Um, that does look cool. It it looks amazing. I just don't understand it. There's no blanks. There's no double lines like this. No idea. And here's the here's the one uh, wire for yeah. Andrew Davies going. Mm. Hmm, <laughs> how? Uh, here's the wireframe one, uh, which cool. is very very cool. Yeah. Um, and some of the, some of those don't look like four pixels wide. Like, I just don't get it. Like mm. there's a, like a double pixel, double, double, double. And they're all seemingly on the same line. Like it's not drawn by play field. I, 
I don't know. Maybe it's Flickr and he's taking this off a of CRT, mm. so he's doing two frames. Don't know. But take a look at this. Also includes a text mode that supports proportional fonts. Uh, ideal for the great underground empire. So look, look at this font. It is not 8888 or 6666. It is a W and then a thin I, then an yeah. N. So you can get more characters on a line. Unbelievable. Deep fake, Charles Wheelan says. It could be. It could be. Um, no, and he's got a keyboard cool. plugged into it, so he's typing, like, uh, adventure games and doing, like, open mailbox. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so we'll see. He has. He's still not posted, as far as I can see. Any uh, additional any follow ups in the demos picture to card. The cart just listens to the ASP 32 and displays what is asked. Mm. It's it's basically just dumping graphics, visually visualize. But okay. I don't know how those graphics are even achieved because it has to have some sort of 2600 kernel to receive these graphics and put them on the screen. Mm. Uh, you can also just use like a Atari Vox and stream audio voice commands from the 2600. Uh, Z machine is running on ESP32 and graphics are tra transmitted for the 2600 for display. The fonts are rendered into pixels. Flickering at 30 hertz, it seems. Okay. Yep. Oh, it says 2 times 60. Okay, so that's how it's getting those four colors mm. on the same line. Because it's captured from a CRT, so there's some it's phosphor die-off and yep. blending and stuff. But still, that that's still, that's unbelievable looking for even 30 hertz. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, you could do these in the ARM-based SD carts, it, but this has Bluetooth built in and keyboard built in. Now, that has not been done successfully, as far as I know, like on mass for the 2600 having a keyboard plugged in. Mm. Um, so that's really, really exciting. Um, and will it work with the mouse? Uh, well, Ooh. It, <laughs> I don't see why not. It's got Bluetooth. If it can take so, the inputs and translate it into something that, that the 2600 the can understand, which sure, why not? Move one, move three left, move three up. It's one um, of those things you, you, you want it in your hand to try it out. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Which, which I don't know. What is the bandwidth of the joystick port? If it's able to transmit audio through it and all these graphics through it it must be very very high um but anyway this is really really interesting exciting now i thought like our barrios has chimed in there he's the guy who made the movie card mm. so he's like oh my goodness what 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 uh you could also turn the guitar into a midi device over bluetooth mm. yeah it does pretty much so this is the magic keyboard peripheral announced in the mid 80s yeah <laughs> maybe um it does <laughs> everything that other things have done plus a little bit more so i i thought it was really really cool looking um uh, just a quick update on the 7800 game drive from saint phaser cat game says mind link or i don't care <laughs> mind link or I, yeah we're still mm. waiting for the mind link yep. head straps yeah i mean th they did put those out they just have you can just you just buy one and interface with the 2600 <laughs> It's not good. I don't think there was ever a really good one. More than the you moving line. a ball back and yeah. forth, yeah. pushing yeah. it towards your opponent and back. Yeah. It takes a lot of concentration <laughs> to transmit any kind of data. Uh, <laughs> with all the, So uh, Saint issued uh, an update about his 7800 game driver, but a release date. Uh, with What with all the parts issue, it's unlikely uh, to be until the latter half of this year. Okay. So maybe another six months or so so okay. that's just a quick update for the 7800 game drive mm. which is pretty magical multi-cart yes. for the 7800 the multi-carts and stuff that are coming out right now it's, it's so, so a wonderful time yeah. <laughs> to be into retro gaming on the of, uh, atari hardware coming out you yeah know? a lot of people with, playing with and with the hardware comes the hardware. new software and new new games that and takes new things yeah uh, yeah takes advantage of that that's cool Armscar Cardo has pu uh, published his patch. Oh, I like for it. Raptor. So anybody who's got a, a nice thousand and patch. above, which I think a handful of people, yeah, maybe around five or six or seven people, mm -hmm. now have achieved a score of over a thousand, including myself. 
Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> actually, so people have handily beat me. Uh, I just made it over a thousand. But you got it. So I did get it. So I'll be it. receiving one of these amazing looking it's patches. A nice looking patch. Oh, it doesn't get any bigger. Uh, here's a picture <laughs> of the sample patch. Anyone scoring a thousand points or more on Raptor is eligible for a free patch. If, if you haven't played Raptor, it's super, mm -hmm. super well made. 4K game. Unbelievable. Just send me a PM with a photo of your game screen. Oh, not April 1st yet. Yeah. Charles Wheeler. Yeah. How about the other <laughs> thing? Fake, Too yeah. early. Yeah. You yes. should have posted on April 1st. Oh, yeah. And then got everybody going, no, oh, it's no, fake. It's no, it's not real. No. Yeah. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Oh, nostalgic. Did you get it? Get the 1,000 points? Good job. Um, or did I get the achievement? I think on um, April 1st, someone should post the re-release of Princess Rescue. Oh, yeah, it's selling again. It's selling again? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there's always something on April 1st. Yeah. So we'll see. It's uh, very soon, like eight or nine days. I don't know how many days in this month. 22. Yeah, it's 20, 22nd today. Um, and let's see. Oh, I'm referring to your achievement. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Uh, so Carrie posted about the show tonight. Mm. Uh, that's really small. I, but, 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 I was hoping to check this out today in the evening, but then I noticed it would be three in the middle of the night because uh, he is from. Oh, that's now too big. Doesn't just yeah. say where ah, he's from. Ah, ah. Finland. I know it moves Finnish? all over the place. I saw Finnish in there. Uh, Finland. Oh, nice. Uh, perhaps I'll put on my alarm clock to wake me up at this hour. So. Hey, if you're here, hi. <laughs> oh, no, sorry. What is it? What is so, it? Okay. What? Oh, sometimes names are a bit confusing. I'm sure that Revan Tuli I is... was sure that Revan Tuli is some Finnish guy. Yeah, I was sure that Revan Tuli is some Finnish guy as the name means Aurora. Right, Actually, when I typed it into Google Translate, it yeah. said Aurora Borealis. So Revan mm. Tuli, is that why you picked your name? <laughs> because it means uh, Aurora Borealis? <laughs> it's always 3 a.m. in Finland, Yeah. Though. During the winter, yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I, I visited Finland years ago, years ago, to a friend who was at university there. Um, and we went right in the middle of June, which just happened to be very close to the summer solstice. Yeah. There was not a lot of darkness. <laughs> I did <laughs> oh, not, yeah, during I the did summer. I did not sleep very well. <laughs> yeah, during the summer, yeah. It was yeah. crazy. Hey, Atari 2600, dude. Yeah. Um, so I've actually made some alterations to the audio. Mm. So I don't know if it sounds weird or different. It shouldn't sound too mm. much different. So what I've done is added a compressor to the audio. Mm -hmm. And also it's louder. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that everything will fall within a, a smaller window of audio. Okay. So quieter talking It'll is louder, louder and Darcy is quieter because <laughs> Darcy you're very, supposed to make that joke loud. with Darcy in I, the room. oh he won't be here for another <laughs> two weeks um so um, oh, poor Darcy. but it also shouldn't be uh distorting at all mm. even with the loudness so so it's compressing yes it's compressing it down That's to a smart. small portion smart. now also I've also <laughs> put on a uh, denoiser, it's called. De so that when we stop talking, it should go absolutely silent. So. Oh, it's not. But it is going a lot quieter. Anyway, noise suppressor. It is going a lot quieter. I could hear hearing Tari's meow a bit before. Oh, oh kitty. Yeah. When I picked him up, he went meow. So that meow, it'll. Meow. Oh, oh, it's the squeakiest <laughs> of squeaks. A squeaky meow. Oh, oh, now that got him excited. It's treat time. It's treat time. There you go. I didn't hear the it's treat time, though. Oh, I've got it turned down a little bit. I've, I heard I've altered the ding, ding, that. ding, though. I've altered that as well, so I don't need to turn down the desktop right. audio. Now, it's hard, uh, are we still doing the... Sorry. Yeah, the option. Option. So, Carl G., do you want to give him treats? Although he did ring the bell, I'll have to give him one. Or do you want to... <laughs> <laughs> That's do its wanna, time. Do you want to give him some catnip? Oh, it says it's time. Catnip or treats. Or treats. And we only give him catnip once, so you can choose it now. Oh, treats. treats. Okay. okay. That's good because he's getting a little bit uh, anxious for the treats. Treat or kitty upper. Okay. Drugs. <laughs> Drugs. And he loves please. both. So. He does. I know. It's coming. It's coming. You don't have to ring it again. 
I like rang it five times. <laughs> dang, dang, dang. Again? Oh, okay. I'll give you another because you did ring it like five times. There you <laughs> so go. So let's see how loud the bell goes. Okay. When he rings it next time. So okay. ring the bell. I have to do a little better than that. Ring the bell. Do it again. Hmm? Ring the bell. Good kitty. I don't think it registered. No? Maybe. I don't know. If you guys could hear it. Uh, so the first game we are going to be playing tonight. That one was a lot louder. <laughs> Uh, is it was very faint. Yeah, yeah. He, he did it a little bit quieter. I don't know. The second one was probably better. Mm -hmm. uh, is dragons, dragons havoc. This is a 2022 exclusive mm. work in progress update, and we are able to play the full version of the game, uh, every level of it, and we're going to refrain from playing the last level of it. Um, so we don't give away the last boss, but we will be able to play all the other levels. Um, so this is nominated in the Atari Homebrew Awards for Atari 7800 Best Work in Progress Homebrew. Who's training who? He is training us because we respond to him. He's like, when I press this a bell, harder, you more. give me the treat. Come here. Not quite hitting it. Get the top. Too close to you. Good kitty. <laughs> Cats aren't trainable, Andrew says. <laughs> That's not a real cat. <laughs> 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 so it's by Todd Fermansky. Other games he's made: Dragons Cash, Dragons Havoc, Dragon Racer, Trials of Worm, Dragons Descent, and a non-dragon game, but I think it's still kind of dragony. Uh, Harpy's Curse. Harpy's which he Curse. Is okay. Working on right now. He announced it not too long ago, and we will have the world exclusive of that game along with a uh, developer spotlight on him. Oh, good. Coming up in uh, who knows when. Good. Whenever the Harpy's Curse is ready. Mm -hmm. um, you can flip back now. Okay, he's done. He's been fed his oh, treats. Oh, Until fed. next time. Okay, it is time. Revan Tooley, working on it. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, so this demo, the demo goes up to stage 4-3, but we'll be playing the full version that goes up to level 7-3. Okay. So in the demo, you can play four full levels. That's the demo, but we've got the full. We've got the full. Nice. So we'll be taking a look at all the levels except for the last boss. Gotcha. So we won't give that away. Fair enough. Uh, so I'm going to start you playing um, single player. Mm -hmm. um, and then we'll play two player afterwards because okay. that will be uh, a fun time. And it's a 7800 day. Yeah. So the 7800 goes up. There we go. It's a little crooked. Well, it's just this. There we go. There you go. Okay. Time. Oh, let's turn on the video game sound. And also, when we're not talking, the video game sound gets louder. And when we talk, it goes down. Oh, uh, so it's going to so self-adjust. So okay. the video game is always going to be loud enough, hopefully. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, I need to switch over for us, too. So we can see it. Hey! Hit foes to gain rage. Gain rage. Yeah. Rage. Actually, this this works. It does. Oh, my God. I just put it on because I knew the games were, were difficult. Yeah. <laughs> but I forgot that the actual power up's called rage. Yeah. That's awesome. Havoc, bro. Okay, let, let it uh, cycle through okay. again. I think we missed it. They didn't. Uh, a lost age when the dragon of storms and the dragon of embers unleashed their the fury. fury. Or rage. <laughs> Cool. Right. So it has one player, two players, music on, stage zero, zero for ZPH. Yeah. Um, so we'll start at uh, stage zero, leave the music okay. on. That's probably the best I can do right now. So. Yeah. Check, check. Yeah, it does go down. Embers are strong. Oh, blue or red? Yeah. I'm going to go with red. I think I might have been blue last time. One, one. If I'm not mistaken, I have to... Uh, yes, yeah, so the the way the rage works is if you don't miss, your rage builds up, means you can move faster, and your, your shots are more powerful. But if you miss once, it goes way down, um, but you can build it up quite quickly again. 
So you never want to miss. Then you move slower. And also when you have rage, you have you have a shield built in. <laughs> Natural shield. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the parallax is amazing. So there's like one, two, three levels of parallax and also um, a background way in the background. The floating city and a moon and a bunch of it's stars. It's really nice. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Looks, looks really nice. So I'm going to go through um, ah. the different levels uh, or the different updates that he's done since we played it last. You're always shooting one more than you need. Well, you, you need to hit them twice, so... Yes. Run! Ah. No! Run! Dodge! Dodge! So slow. And the shots are slower, too. Ah. So there's different levels of... Uh... <laughs> oh, you dodged it. You don't have to kill everything, then. Uh, no. No, no. Unless it's in your way. Okay, good. Or, it's, like, you don't need to kill these. They're harder to get because... They're moving around. Can I shoot backwards? No. 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 Uh, so January... So last time we played this was on <laughs> February 26th, 2021. So quite a while ago. Like uh, over a year ago. And the enemies flash when they have one more shot to be hit on them. Ugh. better uh so january 29th 2022 i've been making progress even if i've been relatively quiet in the forum finalizing enemy types of behavior so i can finalize the level designs i've sketched out getting the behaviors of the enemies finalized also allowed me to finish the bosses who are all in place but need their behaviors tinkered with and i'll want to do that once i get uh their entourage enemies set properly that's actually a safe way to do it is to shoot at the salt the non-moving guy in that row? Yeah. Because you'll either hit the moving oh. ones. Ooh, Yay! Yay! Building up speed and then avoiding everything is a valid strategy. Yeah. Right until he says. Oh, you shot one too many times. Oh, now you're down in your slow dragon. <laughs> How did I... Oh, I hit you it. Lost. Yeah, you hit it. Oh, yeah. okay. Sometimes in shooters, I forget to, I have the option <gasps> not to shoot everything. Oh, start what? Oh, I thought you continued on... No, did you don't you... continue on the one, two. Oh, I thought it did continue. Do you only continue on one, one? And not one, two, one, three? Continuing plus stage select back at the same stage. Okay. So we may want to do that instead. We'll see. A bit of a bug, you can go back to the title. So let's do that. What? A bit of a bug, you can go back. Oh! Press the button. Go to stage one. Okay. And go to one player. There you go. Um... Some other features that might be appreciated. I'm still messing around with how quickly rage depletes when you miss a target, but not, now I think it's pretty forgiving. Missing. Uh, it's hard. Uh, enemies will start flashing once they reach one hit point, so you can better pace your shots. That does help. I think that was a great add-on. Uh, some yeah. sound of uh, feedback when you get... Double score for defeating an enemy. The little ding -ling -ling. Oh, you ran into him. But you had your shield. It does and it did kill him, too. Stage select has uh, added a bit of a hack for this stream. Yeah, so we don't just sit on the early levels and we're able to make it to later ones. Those spinny shooting things are a pain. They are. Anything that shoots at you a lot is... Nope. It's a bit of a pain. So you're like at half level. Oh, and rage. Don't hit things. Yeah, but at least that you got your moral of the story. your rage axe doubles with ah. a shield. Well, at least you built some up. No, you no. lost a life. 
<laughs> game over. <laughs> yes, this is a 7800 game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you continued on the it's same level. It's good that you continue yes. on the same level. Because you want to show the levels. Also, it gives you the chance to not have to redo everything all over. Oh, gosh. Do it every time. Yep, don't miss. Oh, you're hit, hitting twice. No. Because you shot, killed him, and then shot again. Ugh. Oh, don't run into the walls. Oh, yeah, that's bad. Yep. <laughs> okay. But you didn't lose a life. You did have... Uh, there you go. Lost <laughs> a life there. Life. Oh, my goodness. So it, it's got unique elements in the Can't rage. Shoot as quickly when you're it's not got, in rage. Yeah. It's got the unique elements of rage, which you build up, rather than power-ups. You gain power from the things you shoot. But also, unlike a lot of games, when you die in this one, you continue on. Mm -hmm. It's not like, oh, it resets or you fly into the screen. Ugh. One too many. I know, I'm trying to hit it twice, not... No, that was bad. Run right into it. Hi, kitty. Uh, full game has you continue on the stage you're on, but your score resets. Oh, okay. Every time. No, it's because you you, I killed it. Yeah. But ah, I killed it. But it it gets you. It gets like after that didn't die. But after no. it dies. Yeah. It has almost like a fireball. So I I run into it after I killed it. Oh. You only are hit you it twice. It? Yes, I am. Oh, okay. Yeah, I made that mistake. Okay, so in this game, when you kill something, that it's still. It's still deadly a bit. Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. Is. You get lots of rage when you die. <laughs> you do. Uh, June 30th, 2022. Oh, June, uh, February 3rd. Looking at the demo I posted last year, I realized how many changes I've made since then hopefully improved the game's feedback. While I've been working on the full game, I'm posting a new version of the demo with some of the features I listed above. Enemies flash when it hit at one point. Rage meter visuals revised a little. Uh, so you can see how much more you need to fill. That was good, because before, you couldn't see how what is full. You could only see how much rage you had. Oh, it all turned to ends. Flashed a little bit of ends, all the rage meter, just as you died and flicked over. Nostalgic says, I appreciate the sprites of a slight outline around them. It helps distinguish them from the background. Yeah, I saw that suggested by somebody. I can't remember who it was. That uh, he had just an outline to the characters. So that it, it provides a, rather than a, a bleed over. Um... Different sound effect when getting double score. Still adjusting the rate increase, decrease rage, as well as various enemy hit points. I think the fill up and downgrade of your rage is pretty good. Because you're able to fill it up pretty fast, but it also depletes fairly fast, too. How many kits do you need for the colored baddies? Uh, the flashing ones, you just need one more, because that's it's indicating it's about it's to two. die. It's two for each of them. For the, every single one? Yeah, from what I can tell. Okay. And I, and does it change based on how much power rage you have, You though? can shoot faster. So oh, that's faster. why I keep dying, is because I think I can shoot fast enough, but I can't. Right? You're shooting one too many every time. Really deadly. It is deadly. <laughs> Does the 7800 uh, colors change as it heats up a bit? Yes, it does. Yeah, see, I didn't shoot. I couldn't shoot twice in a row there because uh, my rage is down. Oh, I see. And it gets you because you're like, hit, 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 hit. And it's like, no, it only does one. So you're balanced. <laughs> so the rate of fire changes. Yes, it does. Uh, when It's not more powerful. You can just shoot faster. Okay. Yeah. Giving up? Yep. I'll be right back. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> I'll be right back. Oh, 
he got me. Oh, I'm so slow now. Oh. Oh, almost built it back up. Oh. Ran into the wall. Eight. Average hit oh. points is two to four, depending on the type. They flash when at one. Ah, later enemies have more HP. Yeah. Wine time, yes, Carl. <laughs> what, wine time? Ooh, wine time. <laughs> wine time. Wine time. minimize the amount of color heat drift with heat sinks on the Maria and Tia chips. Oh. That is what I did with my 7800. Oh, interesting. interesting. So does that always keep it at cool uh, colors then? Mm. Revan Tui says there are some colors that shift a lot. Greens become brown, blues become green. There's not a feature for wine time yet. Yes! Oh. <laughs> Treats for Tanya. Treats for Tanya. Oh, also, like crazy. the cat, that would have to be limited to a certain number <laughs> throughout the show. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but would you uh, wait until somebody did that, or you're like, I'm getting wine anyway? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mike Soul. And Azir says, what if you add an internal fan? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> In your 7800? Probably doesn't, probably a heat sink it's would funny. be enough. Yeah. We are looking to build a new computer, so we've oh, been looking yeah. at internal fans and heat sinks and yeah, different things. Yeah, because we're... Um, oh, I lost my rage immediately. Sorry. Oh, it happens. You got it back. Oh, that's so awesome. I don't nice. think I've seen this. Oh. He's kind of cute, though. Yeah. You don't really want to hit him. He's got a cute face. He does have a cute face. <laughs> wow, that looks great. Great boss. Oh. Ideally, you want the temp to remain in the warm mode. Too cold wouldn't work for full color range. Really? So the, the temperature affects the color. It does. It's annoying. I need. There's like tons of posts about what things look like uh, when they're cold, when they're warm, on a CRT, on an LCD. It's a nightmare. Yeah. I love the background, too. Yeah, Carl G, I agree. The, the background is really cool. Yay! Stage 2 one! <sighs> Didn't lose a life. Mm -hmm. Still playing. Oh, I'm like... Oh, look at that background! Wow. <gasps> that is like, um... That's Hawaii right there. It is. The clouds in the sky and the ocean. Wow. Very nice. And the floating, there's like a floating castle in the sky. Oh, 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 their patterns are different. Mm -hmm. Oh, I lost it. Oh my gosh, they are different. They come together. Yeah, they're tracking now. Wow. Oh, God. Shoot! Hey, you can't shoot. You can't mm. shoot. Oh, my After, God. It's bad. That's... You just continue... Continually go. Uh, emulators let you change the colors. Yeah, because wow. they're an emulator, right? So... That's cool. It doesn't warm up. So you can choose what temp mode you want to load the ROM in. I guess it could kind of emulate neat. warming up <laughs> over time. Yeah, or, or you want a cool or a warm or a... That's kind oh my of... god, these tracking ones. Which are kind of good because you just wait for them to come to you, but... Which also... does make you wonder if cool tones and warm tones come from um, the effect of heat on chips. <laughs> um, uh, hmm. That would be funny. It's not true, but that still would be funny. What do you mean by that? Because you define colors as being warm or cool. Oh. Depending on depending on their their hue. Oh god. Ooh, what Satan's Hollow? Sorry. What about Satan's Hollow? Uh oh, oh yeah. That reminds me of Satan's Hollow. Yeah. Very Satan's Hollow. Yes. Oh, I lost it all. Oh, I'm so slow. No, just, I lost a life. Just waiting, just waiting for that gigantic oh. uh, devil head uh, to come in and uh, rain fire down upon upon you. Yep. Yeah, kittens. Oh. Yeah. I'm not gonna shoot those things that go up and down anymore. I just lose all my energy. Just shoot these things that come to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's the tinker nut of the 7800 world. Those things that come straight for you. <laughs> now they're shooting. Oh my god. Yay! Three, two, two. 
two two. Oh yeah, that's right. You've only seen one I boss. Imagine a pretty arcade accurate Saint Solo could be done on the seventy eight hundred. Oh, is there oh, one yeah. for the seventy eight hundred? No, still oh. still waiting. Be it for the first person to make it. There should be a way more Satan Solo ports out there. I don't know. Maybe it's not as popular as it is for, with us. <laughs> well, I, I I mean I know it from the Commodore sixty four, not Me even too, the arcade. Yeah. Made that a lot. Also, oh, I hit the more edge. Precise. I know, it's so easy. Oh, somebody hit again. Ah! Good job. Well, you got him. I forget you. My purr cat. Oh, he's so purry. Come on. Are you happy? There we go. I'm so happy. Oh, come on. He came out of nowhere. Are you happy to oh. get your treats? I think he's very happy. He's a happy treat cat right now. Ah! Uh... Did we talk about Atari's affliction? <laughs> uh, his eye? Yeah. Uh, we briefly did. It, okay. So, oh, but we haven't cool. followed up on it. Oh, three. That one takes three. Yeah. Um, no, he's had some issues uh, with a. It was um, an ulcer on his eye. They think. They yeah, but it's it, pretty certain. They're pretty certain. Not too not too bad. Apparently, it's common with cats. And he had to get uh, drops. We we had the pleasure of giving him drops three times a day. Still, yeah, we're still giving him drops. Um, he doesn't like it at all. <laughs> no, they. It is Hates getting it. better though. So yeah, the, we we saw Love the vet on the weekend. New creatures. Those are awesome. Really nice. I really, looking. really really like them. Great you know design. what? I do really like how they flicker in color when they're down to one. One HP. So good. It looks so good. I think it's actually necessary for this game. I love it. Yeah, so you know how far away you are to killing it. Too. And, and also so you don't use a bullet on it. An extra bullet. Yeah, yeah that's true. It, that's true. It's, it's almost a necessity. Anyway, he's doing a lot better. He was never in pain. No. We just noticed his eye was just a touch cloudy. And we thought that was a bit odd. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Dragon of Frenzy. Uh oh. Oh, it's a Frenzy Dragon. These dragons are awesome! Oh, they're tracking the, yeah. um... So they're kind of interfering with me shooting them. I have to hit them a lot of times! Oh my. Oh, I lost no, it all! Oh no! So slow when you come back, too. There's lots of things to shoot, so... Ugh! So slow again. Oh, I got him! <laughs> yeah, this one's not as cute as the other No, <laughs> no, it's not, it's not. I can't believe I'm doing so well. I think this is easier than before. Ooh. So I remember just dying and dying oh, and so dying. Good. Look at that back. Look how many parallaxes there are. One, two, three, four, five, oh, it six. Looks so good. I do wish you could shoot backwards though. Yeah. That'd be hard. Oh, you could use a second button. Yeah, but that couldn't would change you shoot if you were moving backwards, shoot backwards? Uh, yeah, Could but you, you would. I wouldn't want that. Hard. I wouldn't want that. No, but just moving backwards. Mm, because no? then you can't move backwards and shoot forward. Yeah, but you kind of stop when you shoot anyway, because you're trying to be very precise a lot of the time. Yeah. Anyway, I'd just use a second button if, if that was a yeah. feature. The screens do look fab. The colors are great. I love the flickering of of them when you hit them too. I I just I think they look so good. Oh, the shooting ones and tracking at the same time. Brutal. Yeah, I'm really impressed with the backgrounds are just so bright and colorful. And everything's so dynamic too. Like I love the clouds and the Ugh. water or land or whatever it is at the bottom in this one. Just yeah, it's really nice. Maybe big, you're flying in between big, two layers of clouds. Well, the bottom that could be land. The last one was definitely ocean. But um uh, the contrasts of the greens and the oranges, like the, the color choices, are just really sharp. Yes. I really like. It. Hmm. The 3D floor effect from Toy Story on the Genesis would be possible with this parallax effect. Yes, there we go. Ah. Agree. Love the depth. Yeah. Depth. Oh, you're slow again. Oh. The worst when you're slow. Oh, oh they shoot three so times. Slow. <gasps> so slow. Oh, I have one power. Oh, I'll get it back with this guy. 
there a little bit. Oh, I got hit. Oh, I've wasted it. Getting a bit faster. This is like your favorite type of game, too. It is shooters. Shooter hells. And Not quite a shooter hell, but no, it's getting there. I don't like bullet hells. I, I just like hard shooters. Like bullet hells are too annoying. Harpies. Harpies track, and some of them shoot harpies. Mm. Yeah. Well, counter some new enemies. Ooh. Oh, fast. They give a they throw off a lot of a lot of bullets there. Yeah. One had to shoot, he's in the way. Oh, it was oh, double shot accidentally. Run. No. Oh, oh. It's, it's, it's just it's really, really fast. It's really easy to hit a double shot. Actually, it is there a way to turn off auto fire? Because that's what's happening. Oh, is it? Yeah. On, on. Because mm. I'm accidentally sh holding it down too long because your fire is very fast when you have. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I'm surprised we haven't seen an attempt at our type on this 7800 yet. Well, well that's quite quite a game to <laughs> to make. It's a lot going on in that game. Have we not played something similar to our type? A shooter? Uh, uh, on the 7800? It, what was it? It was the did. 7800, was it? I, 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 it was very our type esque. No, it, oh, what was it? What was it? Hmm. <laughs> Is it the C64? No. Anyway. Serious? Serious! Yes! Yes. So we did. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That Sirius. was 7800? Yeah. That's right. Oh, it was. Jeez, these are tight spaces. Uh, I'm just gonna power through. Oh. Lose all my health. Go. At least those guys. You just need enough space to get past. What? I can hit ah! him, but I can't hit him? This is uh, very difficult. It is. Uh. <gasps> you ran into the guy behind you. No! Oh, Was that 3-2? Okay. It's, okay. it's okay. So. Wasn't there a, some crazy hard shooter you dangled eight? a few minutes back? Mm. That's what it was. Oh, wait. Can I... Can, is this Serious? the same level? Is this 3-2? Yeah, I think so. Isn't it? Or is the green level... Or did I continue from when I first started? I don't know. You, you have to go back, right? This isn't it. No, it's not. It doesn't look right. Stage three, right? Uh, it'd be eight. Eight? Or seven. Seven? Yeah. What? You've only killed three. One, 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 two, one, three. Yeah? Two, one, two, 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 three. Oh! So the three, stages one, don't... Really? Three, two. Isn't seven stage, stage seven, seven one? Doesn't matter. Uh, three, no two. extra life at 10,000, but an extra life for every boss to Oh, uh, okay. Very nice. Well, here we go. This is the right one. My it's back at the initial stage. That's okay. Selected. Is this where you were? Seven? Yep. Okay. Nice. So we have up to seven. You said? Up to seven um, stages. stages. It's just the select is 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 different mm. because it goes from zero to whatever it is, seventeen. Oh, right for it. It's so slow when you <laughs> no. when you lose it, you're like, ah, I can't shoot fast enough anymore. <laughs> whoa, whoa. whoa! Oh, oh god! No. Came out so fast. <laughs> Oh, no, don't! Just trying to get my speed up by picking off some of these easier guys. Go. Oh. Go. Yeah. Shield's good. Uh, I know, it's, it's so easy to overshoot. So easy. Reventuli, is is there an option for auto fire to be turned off? Mm. Or can there be? Oh, I'm gonna die here. I'm just gonna... What you're saying is that being forced to slow down increases the player's rage. Uh. Yep. Uh. Increases the rage resets. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Atari has no rage though. 
No. He's just happy. He's just a fully happy cat. Yeah. Oh, I can't shoot fast enough when I'm slow. As long as you give him the treats he wants. Uh, well, I'm down to one life already? What? One life? What? Oh. I, did, I didn't... Did you start... Is this the same level? What happened there? When you continue, to just get one life? No, I, I must have died a bunch of times. Oh, I've got no. three again. Good. What did he say about auto fire? I keep asking, but I can't read. Auto Good. fire is kind of necessary at higher levels. Plus, I've killed my thumbs at games that did not have it. Mm. Can He's it saying, be? no, you're out of luck. <laughs> uh, best luck. way to slow down fire is to fire from farther away. That's true. Oh, because you get a new one. Yeah. Yeah, it's. Yeah, I can see that. That but... stage reminds me of Scramble with Atari 2600. Oh, this one, yeah. yeah. It does. Um, it but the problem is, in these kind of areas, you can't be back far enough. Well, things get in the way, right? And I accidentally shoot things twice, <gasps> and I lose my rage. Mm. And then I get rage. Oh, no, you can only have one shot on screen at a time, even at full rage. Mm. So, that's very Atari-esque. It is. One shot. So you only have one missile, so you have to get your missile back before... Oh, ooh, that was close. I'll try and back off. Oh, God. Ah! <laughs> oh, what happened? Oh, come... Oh, now I'm dead now. Game rage and play rage are inversely proportional. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Robin Tully says kind of the idea. <laughs> uh, we're going to play two players on mm -hmm. the next starting stage. Oh, okay. not Not the internal one. Atari, do you want a bratwurst on your um, belly? So that'll be seven, eight, nine, I think. Okay. All right. Oh, nope. Next person. Pick two players. Ooh! I'm red, you're oh, blue. Oh, I am blue. This is gonna oh. be a problem. I'll take the top. No! Because otherwise we're firing at the same guy and we'll lose our rage. Because one of us will hit it and the other one's bullet will go through it. Oh. I lose my rage constantly. I've seen that head before. Uh, in his other games. <laughs> he's got say. he's got dinosaur triceratops type heads. Ugh. What happened? What? What hit me? Grr. I think the way the rage works right now is perfect. Yes! It ramps up quickly, but it also can deplete quickly. Because when, uh, last time we played it, I felt the rage took Did too long to, to build up, oh. and it depleted so quick. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no, I'm so slow. I'm so slow too. Oh, it's horrible. Oh, it's horrible. oh I'd lost a life. Oh no. Uh, I've lost a few. Oh, God. Terrible. Down to nothing. Oh! These guys, these Triceratops heads are horrible. I'm dead now. Oh, I'm dead dead! Oh, I'm dead oh, dead. No. <laughs> exact same score. <laughs> Castlevania. Yeah, very yeah. Castlevania-esque. Yeah. No friendly fire. Thank God. Oh, oh my God. That would not no, um, go over well. Yep, super awesome game where you have to move on to the next yeah. game because and you don't otherwise we would play this all night because yeah. it's super fun. It's really cool. The color schemes are so good. 
Be checking recording later on for very glitches and bugs. <laughs> Collision might have some issues I still need to track down. Mm -hmm. um, maybe. I felt there was something weird mm -hmm. that I was like, what killed me? What hit me? Anytime I said that, maybe check it, check it out. <laughs> um, how are the volumes for us and the video game? Because mm -hmm. um, I'll check it later, but I can't do it live. The compression, yeah. Yeah, yeah. the compression. Um, so, mm -hmm. super fun. Thank you, Revan Tooley. It is perfectly balanced now, I mm -hmm. think. Mm -hmm. The levels are hard, but totally possible. Mm. Excellent. Sound is good. Mm -hmm. Explosions hit you. Okay. Yeah, they do hit you. Oh, that's what, that's what that's I kept what saying. Said. I you, forgot. You have to be careful. If you're too close, the explosion doesn't hit you. That's right. Yeah. So never mind. Thank you, Revan Tooley. Yes, thank you fun. for letting that's us... an amazing game. Uh, it looks play. great. Yeah. The audio sounds good. Atari 2600 dude says. Excellent. That's what I like to hear. Yeah. Um, so we'll probably play that, uh, definitely play that again oh, when it's yeah. done. That's a great game. It's a great two player game. And too. we'll do, yeah. And we'll do more of a playthrough. Yeah. We'll probably do an after dark playthrough so we can play the whole thing mm. all at once. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, so we're going to play the next game, Adventures of Ollie Troll. This is the final version. This was only released on cartridge. So we're very happy and lucky to be able to play it mm -hmm. off of a binary. It's by Walter Lauer, who is Gambler172, and Franco Dragon, uh, who's known as Franco Dragon. <laughs> um, so this was released uh, December 12th, 2021. Uh, let's switch back over. 7800. This is kind of a platformer um, action game. There's not really platforms, but you are jumping and moving out of the way of mm -hmm. things. Uh, you guys should know that Ollie Troll is the mascot of my games. He lives in the land of s Snail. Smail? Snail. Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> With the story a little bit faster, but the evil one kidnapped his girl and Ollie must rescue her on your journey to the evil castle. You must avoid lots of obstacles over the obstacles. You can jump, you can play. Okay. That's not on the screen. No. Yeah. <laughs> I was blazing through it by Walter Lauer and coded by Franco Dragon. Uh, 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 he's a little bit sad. Uh, Atari Charles is so slow with the story of part two, so all he decides to force Atari Charles to continue. Uh, on your journey, you must evil the castle. You must avoid lots of obstacles. Over your obstacles, you can jump. If you're brave enough, press L fire to start. There we go. Time delay test. So this, this, I think it has 25 levels. Uh, yes, 25 screens. This one is just left and right. Avoid the falling cookies? Rocks. They look like cookies. Probably rocks. They look like they would have chocolate in them. <laughs> mm. Oh, it hit me. Game over. You get one life, apparently. Um, so you can continue on this game. Mm. So if you make it to level two, you can continue on level two. So we can see more than just the first level. Now, the hitbox is a little large, so you have to stay away from... Uh, the falling things, because you will get mushed. Oh, that was close. Yay! Uh, so, level two. It turns into arrows. So, this was nominated uh, in the Atari Homebrew Awards for Atari 7800 Best Homebrew Original. You made it. Uh, Ollie the Troll is the mascot of Gambler 172's la latest oh, games. As we're working on the journey of Snail 2, Franco Dragon has made a simple mini-game. Gambler liked it and had the idea for Adventures of Ollie Troll and asked Franco Dragon if a bigger game with more enemies and obstacles would be doable. The graphics is in old retro style, less color. So I guess a throwback to the monochrome arcade days. Yeah. So it looks like a non-offending version of Custer's Revenge. <laughs> it really looks like that because it's that's this, especially this level. Okay. It's Custer's Revenge. Oh, is it? Oh, to funny. a T. Except the arrows are coming straight down in this one. I think Custer's are coming at an angle. Because uh. there's even the pole there. Yay, level three. Good job. My hero. And now I can jump? Now in this level you can. Oh. This is brick blocks coming down. The game is not a blockbuster. It is more an easy to play game, which should, should make some fun. It's 25 screens, including a boss fight. And if someone doesn't die in the whole game, there's a hidden secret. Good luck with that. I don't think anybody has made no. it without dying. Like you have to make it all 25 levels without dying. Um, uh, and just for info, Ollie really exists. He's a strong but clumsy guy who worked with Gambler at 172 for many years. 
Oh, good job. Uh, Franco Dragon says, The game is not an easy one, as it will take practice to get through the objects. All it gets infinite lives, but if you're a hardcore gamer, this will be very challenging to get the secret ending with no deaths. Yay! You are cute. Yes, you are. You can put some colored plastic strips over the That's screen. right. Some, <laughs> some big overlays like the really old systems, like the... Or, or even the Vectrex, right? What was the other one that... Uh, the Odyssey? Was the was the one with what? overlays? What? what is going on? What? Oh, you're getting blown back. Yeah. There's like a fan blowing you back. Yeah, what's going on here? I don't get it. So you have to time it just right so you avoid things and jump over it. Oh Magnafox Odyssey. I had one as a kid. So the Magnafox Odyssey I don't get it. had overlays. Well, you just jump a little or jump a lot. No, but you, you get pushed back the moment you're on the ground. We have to push forward. I've played it up to this level. Have but you? Then I, couldn't, I couldn't pass it. You couldn't pass this level? No. You get pushed back immediately. Yeah, you have to hold forward to not be pushed no, back. No, no, no. Even holding forward doesn't really help. Yeah. See, you're not being pushed oh my back. Good. No, that's jumping. You jumping you can you can stay forward. Oh my god. Have anyone seen a box with a line flicker out in then? Yeah, this game has a little bit of flickery flicker. Go, 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 go. Oh you hit your back foot on a potato <laughs> potato. It is. I, I, I was, it's so funny. I was just thinking they look like potato chips to me, but I could be hungry. Uh, yeah, you can press the button to go higher. Oh, too early. No, you, you. I wanted to hold it for as long as I could, but... Yeah, it only goes so high. It doesn't go infinite. Uh, um... Do, 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 do. Where was I? Some levels are just run and avoid, while others have jumping involved. And oh, there's a level where you can't move. It might be a moving floor, so you'll need to jump. The game with instruction manual sells for $30 USD with uh, shipping extra. Please PM me if you're interested in a copy. So if you want one, you get in touch with Franco there Dragon. Yay! I'm not going to get past. Ah, now it's going the other way. Ah! <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah, the hitbox is really... It's quite large. Is is big. Oh, my God. Uh... Yeah, Vitoko, you can... Oh, nice. You can press the button to go higher to an extent. So this one's making go for... Oh, oh so the hitbox is so, so yeah, like, you're large. you're, like, four pixels away from it. Yeah. So the first one is blowing you away, and the second one is blowing towards? Yeah. Or pulling you towards? Pulling you. There you go. You've got the timing for the first one now. Wait for them to line up. Go, 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 go. Oh, oh, oh too late. Oh, come on. Oh, it doesn't jump immediately either. <laughs> popcorn time. The popcorn. Oh, oh no, too tight. I was able to get it. Yeah, you, I got it last time. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, you just have to time it properly. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. No, next next one, this one. Oh, oh too late. Oh, it's too fast. Ugh. You have to do it right away. This takes forever for that other potato chip to <laughs> Oh potato <laughs> chips. Oh, could be. That's what it looks like, potato chips. No, potatoes? Chip. Yeah, they're not round enough for potatoes. Ugh. Ugh. No! Jump when I tell you to jump! God. Popcorn? I thought food was only for Darcy streams. No, no, we do. Tanya have brought down some popcorn. Why? Today. Because there was no dinner. <gasps> there was a burrito, but she had burrito for lunch. The exact same burrito. Yeah, pretty much. So did I. This is our dinner. Yeah. <laughs> we refer to it dinner. as popcorn dinner, which yeah. we sometimes have when we go to the movies. Yes, popcorn dinner. I see diagonal potatoes too. <laughs> Yeah, it could be kind of potatoes at an angle. You can see the eyes of the potatoes. Now, do people pronounce potatoes with a P or a B? Oh, come on. I wasn't anywhere near it. Potatoes. 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 Most people, if they're not thinking about it, say potatoes. 
Potatoes? Potatoes. They're with not a potatoes. B. Potatoes. <laughs> I've heard They're it very before silly. many times. So jump is fast up, slide down along a line. You can control your descent. Not really. Yeah, you where you land. Control your height, not your descent. Nope, you can move back and forth. But you don't want to. You want no. to go as far as you it's want. Your height that matters. Oh, oh so the, close! The hit, the hit box is really t like. Oh God! It's not that My bad. Soon. You got through this, right? No, I didn't get past. I got past the first uh -huh. one, but not you the have second. To... I only right away. It, for... oh, and it doesn't <laughs> jump right away, which is so frustrating. <laughs> it it's like it you me. smack it and it doesn't jump. You have to be on the ground or it won't jump immediately. Yeah, you'll hit it. You have to, you can't jump over it very easily. You almost need to get it right now. There you go. So two, getting one, it one right kind of away. Medium. Oh, yeah, I went too see, high. See, that's what keeps happening to me, because it's just so tight. So the jump is fast up, slide down. It's not fast up, it's the same tempo up and down. Oh. But when you when you lift off the button, you start to go down right away. Where's my popcorn? Thank you all. Oh, I missed my opportunity. Yeah, that's all right. You want one? Are you allowed to have a popcorn? Who does he have to ask to get a popcorn? No, no. Uh, 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 I don't think I can jump far enough. Oh, there we can. Yep, I see okay. bacon. It's a little bacony. Oh. Canadian bacon or striped bacon? Striped bacon. Huh? Oh my god, I did oh, it. Good job. Hi, sweetie. Press L, fire to begin new mm. level. Bacon okay. strips, yeah. Oh my god. It's a dragon. Oh, that's a cool dragon. There's quite a water thing here. Oh, I'm not going to make it. Oh my god, I did. That was a much easier level. One first try. Yeah. Going my way. Mm. Oh my god. Okay. Uh oh. oh. It's attacking the seagulls. Or bunnies. No, they're seagulls for sure. Sideways bunnies. Mm -hmm. A rabbit, not a dragon. <gasps> hmm. This one, there's three of them in a row. Oh, nope, nope. It's like four of them in a row. Oh, I think I can do it. Yeah, you have to. Nope. Oh, go, go, go. Go, go, go. Run. Run. Hubba, hubba. Oh, my God. It's mm -hmm. old words. Oh, Ooh, nice. Quest for tires. No. Um, yeah. Circus. Oh, my God. Just needs jumping monkeys. Circus has the exact same... Um, Ooh, can you land on her? Good job. As long as you touch her. A condor. Mm. Duck heads. Ooh la la. Oh, more falling things. I don't know what these are. Icicles. They're what? Icicles. Ah. Icicles? Yep. So they look like those tacks you used to use in uh, elementary school to keep your papers together. Where they split. They split. You know, you And legs. Them. Yeah. Keys. <laughs> they do look a little bit like keys. Oh, they could be. You cannot fit between two of them. The hitbox is too big. Oh, I almost did it. Almost there. So if I go there, go back. No. <laughs> this is like four in a row. It's mm -hmm. brutal. I have you to almost clear have to jump. all Can four. you jump or no? Oh, oh, you can't be go between two of them. No, no jumping in this one. It's different uh, styles of movement every level. Well, some of them are just this, back and forth. Mm -hmm. This one does. I have to wait for the... Oh, oh, oh! Okay. I'm not sure Ollie's girl is worth all this work. I agree. It's a lot of death. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Have we met before? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have. Oh, platforms! Oh, my God! Are they actual platforms? No. Nope. Death. Nope, they right? kill death. you. Yeah, death. There are spikes. Oh my god. Okay. To so get between them. This is cool. I, yeah. I love this. I love this type of game. Okay. 
Oh, go down, down, down. Okay, up. Oh, God! Run! Jump, jump, jump! Touch her! No, no barrel! Yeah! My, you're brave. Combs of death. Mm -hmm. Okay, so is this gonna have... Apples and combs of death. Oh, they're going down completely. Okay. Wow. Nope. <laughs> but if... Ah! Okay, go. Jump. There we go. There we go. Ooh, no, is, no, no, no! It is obviously created with some little gaps, because you need the little ah, gaps. Ah. First try. Yay! Ooh! Ha, ha, ha. It's an E.T. I have a girl. Dare you to save her. Ooh, fire. Flickering Ooh. fire. Oh, and barrels. Go, 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 go. Mm, 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 mm. What? Come you on. Hit the fire. It's giant cherries. Um, this is very, uh, pitfall. Oh, can you not land in between those two, or do I have to be no, super precise? No, I think precise? you do. I think you have to be precise. Right, very centered. There we go. No barrels, no barrels. Jump! Oh, it's a flag. What the hell? Oh, mm -hmm. she's gone. It's no more her. Oh, things are going up now. Okay. That's not too bad. They're very spaced out. Okay, go, go, go. Evil Knievel level? Yeah. Oh. Somehow your girlfriend turned into um... a <laughs> flag. Oh, do I have to... Oh. Oh, there's one to jump here. Go. Oh, that's... Or can I just go under it? Oh, nope. I just, it's preventing me from jumping. That's what it's doing. Yeah. That's not too bad. As soon as I figured out the mechanic, I think we can make all 25 levels here. Yeah. At least you can pretty just far. continue. <laughs> yeah. Mm. For games like this, you need that continue. Can I jump? Yay. Combs and Tim Oh, no, didn't time up well. There we go. Ooh. Time it up again. Very long jump. Come on, little. What is that? A lizard? It's got like five legs at certain times. Okay. So. Do you have a popcorn crunching suppression on your uh, compression <laughs> for the audio? It should be quiet enough. <laughs> I feel like I'm making a lot of noise over here. Ooh, jump! Oh! oh no. Watch out for the asterisks. <laughs> They're They're always spiky. deadly. Asterisks in games, always oh. deadly. Yep, they're usually like floating mines in the water. Mm -hmm. Spiky thing. Oh, God. Jumping jacks. <laughs> Jumping jacks, yep. Don't step on them. Oh, I thought I was going to make it. Okay, let's time this Basically up. the Lego of like the 50s. <laughs> yes. Dangerous. Oh, almost. Very dangerous. Okay, so... Oh, oh, no, 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 too early. Mm -hmm. You rarely see a black and white game. Hmm. Um, I think Spies in the Night mm. is the only other black and white game uh, that I can think of right now. I'm glad you're not hearing munching sounds, nostalgic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, empty. Oh, oh, my, oh god. my god. Rolling skulls. Oh, my god. You have to jump right away. Jump. Oh my god! Jump! Oh, the skulls are awesome! Oh my awesome. god! There's so many! The skulls are cool. Cool. Montezuma's <laughs> revenge. Oh, made it. Oh, the thing. skulls are awesome! You can do it. What? You didn't hit anything! What? I can kind of hear it. <laughs> I kind of hear it. My Probably munchin, when I'm talking. My munching sounds. Uh. I'll stop. It's hungry. I'm like an Atari. Ooh, no, no, no! Oh, no! Uh, I don't know what killed me that time, though. I was so close. The main character reminds me of the one in Mountain King. Mmm. Well, he does... He's a troll. He does slowly... In Mountain King, you slowly glide down when you jump, so... Oh. I can, no, no, no! Oh. Okay. I don't... Yeah. Black and, black and white evokes a pre-1980s arcade look. Oh, you know what? I read in the thread yeah. that there are hidden dangers sometimes. Oh. So there's a hidden thing that I have to not hit, hit my head on. It's when I'm oh, jumping near really? the end. Yeah. So you have to run across? So I have to run near the end. Not jump. Not get hit by that thing, but well, yeah. yeah. Hi. That's pretty rude. <laughs> yes. It is. Hid like, I mean, I don't have the manual. Those are awesome. So. I'm sure in the manual it says, watch out for... Uh, oh, I couldn't jump again. 
Because you can't guide yourself down faster, you always float. Mm -hmm. But you can you can go left and right. So I have to run towards the end. Yeah. Run? Well, no, not yet. No, not yet. Here. Here's my opportunity. Run. Run. Oh, oh it's, it, no, on, it's the on the ground. Oh, I, I thought I think it was I have to jump end. to it. Yeah. That is pretty rude. <laughs> Rude. Mm -hmm. So rude. Michelle from Full House. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. In manual explanation for a bug. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna jump. It's not a bug. Oh, I didn't land yet. It's not a bug. It's a feature. It must be a very tall thing I have to jump over at the end. It's a feature. Yeah. It's a feature. It's not the developer's problem if you don't like the <laughs> That's right. It's a you problem. <laughs> it's a you problem. Hi. What's up? Okay, it's like... No one, no one has rung the bell yet. No. 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 Not yet. Okay. It's like... Great. <gasps> oh, I did it. Oh my god, I did it. Yeah, it's right near the end. Oh, this is not good. Oh, I don't think I can. I think you have to run under it yeah. quickly. There you go. Please, no hidden. <laughs> Just under three minutes before tree fan can be used again. So, three just minutes. so you know, he knows that. Yeah, he's, he's like, hmm. It's about that time. Yeah, it's about five minutes. I'm going to start begging for treats now. He has a pretty good internal clock. Yeah, like his, he knows when dinner time is. Ah, oh, it's one on the ground near there. Within about 15 minutes of dinner time, he's crying. Yeah, so he it knows. starts an hour. You can't read, before. you can't tell time. You don't know the hands on the clock. You just know your belly. Oh, it's under the second, just past the second one. No, that's not where treats are. Come up here. <laughs> no. Karakak says, nice game, what? running out of power, so laptop shuts down, and I don't want to wake up Satu by getting the power supply. Good oh. night. Good, Good night. night, Karakak. Thank you for joining us tonight. Make sure you follow <laughs> so that you know when we're playing again. So I don't know what's going on. There's like one on the ground right around there. Okay. Here? Do um, you have to jump over it? I think I do. But I swear I died last time. Oh, good job. There's two of them. <gasps> oh, rabbits. They're not rabbits. They're sideways rabbits. No, they're definitely albatrosses. Albatross. And I know there's going to be another hidden thing. Oh, they come down fast. Oh, did they come down fast before? Uh, oh, God. God. Smack. No. They're like the mops or whatever they call them from the. Uh, Mario Brothers. What are they called? Oh, I can't do that in the same. Uh, Tamagotchis. Do they look like Tamagotchis? Oh, do you see a young... Yeah, it's like that picture. Do you see a young woman or an old crow? It is. Chicken heads. Oh. <laughs> Chicken. Everyone has a different opinion. Ah... Uh... What level am I on? I don't know. Troy 2600 dude just asked, how many levels oh, are there? <laughs> 25. 25. I'm sure I'm very, very close. Yeah, and I don't want to give up. Have you done 25 levels? I don't know if you've done 25 levels. Not 25, but I'm, I think I'm very close. You gotta be in the teens, at least. So there's something on the ground here. Yeah? Right before the, the comb? Nope, it's right before the comb. Right before the comb right on the ground? Before, yeah. Yeah, okay. Right before the comb on the ground. It's good to know. Good to know. No! Oh. Huh. I do really like those skulls, though. Yeah, they're great. They just flip, flip, flip. I mean, they're just two two frames of animation. Yeah. But, um, no, they look they're great. still very good. Just before the comb. Just before the comb. Like, okay. like one skull away. Yum, yum, yum. <gasps> what was that? It's treat time. Yum, yum, nice. yum. Nice. McMuse, what is your preference? Do you want to see him get a kitty high from the catnip, or do you want to give him some treats? Oh, I made it. Oh, snake. Oh, I'm so slow. Oh, that's pushing me back. Get it, get it, get it high. <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. How do you I do this catnip? one? Catnip. Do you want catnip? 
want some catnip? Who wants some catnip? Oh, what just happened? I don't know. Did you unplug it? There we go. Oh, it's dirty on that floor. Okay. I have to flip it over. Show the high cat. Oh, okay. I have to go in between those two things in like one go. Yeah? This yeah. Snakes. Oh. It comes down kind of slow this time. Wasn't anticipated. And goes up very slow. So it has to go down. I think you, you need to jump when it comes up, but. Yeah. The snake. Oh. Uh, I was trying to time out the snake, but it wasn't working. Maybe now? Yeah. Oh, oh almost. Close. Atari cat. Oh, 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 there, there we go. There we go. There is a crazy cat. Oh, there's something Can on the ground it? there. Show the kitty for a little bit. Sure. Show the kitty. Look at that cat. Yeah, there you go, McMuse. <laughs> yeah, how is it? Yeah. Oh, so happy. Yeah, there's a happy cat. It's all over his head. I know, he's covered in it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's what I call catnip. Cute snacks. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, oh he's gosh. rolling around now. There's a happy cat. So there's something about... It. Oh, it's right there! Oh, I have to land right. Yeah, you're getting full full orange belly right now. Land right there. What? What am I supposed to do? What? Look, look at this garbage. Oh, Where am I supposed to land? Uh, you have to land one, not two, next to it. Oh, uh, so stay one away from that spiky thing, because the second spot next to it, I think, is like right there. there. Yeah. No, oh. I've, I've landed there, and really? I've landed as far as I can land, too. I'll try that again. Watch. Going as far as I can. Dead. You're so let's see him be in, it, in between. Maybe. maybe you have to get right to the edge before you jump. I did. No, you didn't. Of the spike? Yeah. Like, as far up there as you... Oh, too uh, No, I can't. That's no? as far as I can get. Okay. So I have to land in between one space and the furthest space. So, like, right there. Nope, you have to go three. So I can't. I, I jump as far as I can. Really? You yep. hold it the whole time? Yep. Watch, watch. Go right up to it. Pixel perfect Hold it the whole time. Oh. Really? That's... Pixel perfect platforming? Yes. It's one of these games. So, where? Oh, I've landed as close to the... I'll try close to the Are you jumping again. as high as you can? Yeah. Like, uh, are you holding it the I'll whole make sure. time? I'll make sure. Holding the whole time? Yeah. You Dead. didn't quite go far enough over, though. I think you have to get as close as you can. I don't know. I don't think so. Try it. I can't think of any other way to do it. Either you have to land directly next to it. I'm getting really close. Mm -hmm. <sighs> no, I'm gonna. No. Any other suggestions? Can you go over the top of the cone? No, you can't. You it can't wouldn't jump on wouldn't the platform. Help. It wouldn't help. It kills way. you the moment you touch it. Because you're further. So if you're if you're in the space directly to the right of that spiky thing, it kills you. There. Yeah. Did oh. It kill you. But it pushes me into the death. So you, okay. you basically yeah have to you jump have to immediately. stay right there, land next to the jack. That's what I was trying to say. Is I think you have to be right. Oh, so hard though. You have like one pixel, and it's pulling you towards the spike mm. as well. Oh my god. Mm. Could you have infinite lives? I don't know how anybody can finish this whole game in one go. Impossible. Oh, it's pulling me towards a spike now. There's a very happy cat on the ground. I'm just pointing people to, out to that. Yeah. Oh, he is so happy. There we go. And one more. No snake. Oh Yay! my god. Yay! Oh, it must be so close. Please, no invisible garbage. Hate it. Oh no. Oh, you have to... <laughs> the secret ending better be a million dollar prize. I yeah. won a coffee at Tim Hortons. 
Did you? I did. A roll up the rim to win. Although they don't actually do the actual roll up the rim anymore, which is really sad. Oh. You have to do it How using do you do their it? online. Oh, of course. Um, do you have, did you have to register your I game? I have like a rewards card. Oh. So you ha you have to buy it with your rewards card and then you can play. But I did get a free. Oh, one. there is one. Uh, no. Uh. I'm thinking James is a never give up attitude. Oh, I've seen him give up before. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm making progression. But he, that's the thing. I mean, that's the thing. You you keep going forward if you feel like you have a fighting chance. It's when you feel oh, like yeah. you don't that I've you done give this up, a million right? times yeah. or something. Oh. Yeah, but you the... are you are moving forward. It just takes a bit of practice. Some of them are quite hard. No, it's oh, right it's next right to it. You have to get it. You have to get past. Ah. Ah. Oh, those are some fast snakies. <laughs> the ending is probably you reaching your girlfriend again, and she says thank you for saving her. But her that but his girlfriend is in another castle. Probably. Yep. Based on past experience of other video games. Okay. Now, no, you no, it's right next to it. So you have to, to jump right. over it. Yeah. Like yeah. like one star next to where the cone falls down is is definitely the, the bad part. Is there a patch, someone says? No, or what? All so. these invisible uh, objects that kill you? <laughs> patch to patch you up? <laughs> because you know ollie trolls so the ending is him getting trolled uh, are we gonna get rick rolled at the end that would be pretty funny i'd be impressed with that uh what's his name who does the um video encoding on the atari 2600 has he rick rolled anyone just ask Arbarios? what the video what video you know the guy who did star wars Oh, yeah, Arbarios. Arbarios? Arbarios. Arbarios? Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, did he? I, I think he did. Yes, he did do that. He did? Yeah, That's the awesome. joke's already been done. Oh, <laughs> still, it's pretty awesome. Jump. Oh, no, you have to jump all the way. Uh, okay. Yeah, you have to do I a big, long that. jump from the middle, I think. Okay. Big so walk and long. As close as I can. Yeah, let that go down. Then now jump uh. from that point. From that midpoint. I will try. I think that'll work. Rick roll in glorious <laughs> color after all the black and white. Yeah, exactly. Ah. Uh. That would be the best. Does James have that music in his chip tune stash? <laughs> <laughs> Probably, actually. Da, na, it it na, might have played one day. Na, 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 oh, don't, na. don't sing it too well. <laughs> oh, true. <laughs> Very true. Hey, tree guy. Welcome to pain. Invisible obstacles. Ah, duck. <laughs> invisible obstacles, him. almost as bad as invisible mazes. Okay. Kind of the same thing, actually. When you think about it. Jump from there, all the way up, all the way down. Jump again. Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Come on, it's, oh, a fast, fast lizard. Rick is in the new video from New Kids on the Block, though. What? Is that a real thing? What? What? Those there's two the new, things? There's a new New Kids on the Block video. And he's in it? Death okay, there's, there's, there's nope. going to okay. be a ton of them in this one. So definitely there is one. You're going to have to jump right next to the spike. Right next to it. Come straight down. Nope. No. Nope. Right oh, next to it. on the other side you need. On the right-hand side, yeah. I can't do that. Can I? Oh, I can. Yeah. Like land to right next to it uh, uh too close. almost almost what i root our collections i cannot click on that right now but i will it's insane Ooh, good job potato, potato chips time from the sky they're pretty far apart so there's only like two and two so it won't be too yeah. bad the shifting ground is Except what killed me on that. But that up. was so hard. That one level with go. the shifting ground was. There's going to be brutal. some deadly spots. Oh, not so far. Yeah. Yeah. yeah of course go. it's there. Yeah. So I'm going to have to land right next to it. Maybe they're Pringles. They are. Oh, pringles yeah. I think that's the yeah. closest. Uh, yeah, we've come pretty... to identifying them. I mean, they could be kettle chips, too, because they've got some, you know... So not some right texture, next to it. Not right next to it. So I'm going to go as far as I can, then. Yeah. Jump, and then just do a full yeah. parabolic shape. or Actually, <laughs> it's more like can. a mountain shape, but yeah. a V 
inverted V. Oh, uh, trying to get as close as I can. Bringles here. Potato Chips. Bringles Potato. <laughs> Off brand. The potato chip. They're Greeked. Mmm, potato chips. That's what they say in the uh, film industry when you huh? get rid of the actual name on something. Or you change the name or cover over the name. You okay. Greek it. You Greek it? Oh, yes. you turn it into Greek letters? I, not, is, that the, not, I, is that the concept of it? That's the basics yeah. of it, but you don't turn it into Greek letters. You turn it into something you can't read or is unidentifiable or it's something else. Once you pop, that's great. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> Perfect slogan. Yeah. Once you pop, that's great. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Prongles. <laughs> prongles better. That's a better one. <laughs> Taken from a Prongles can I saw once. <laughs> nice. I like it. Prongles is good. Prongles. Oh, What's it's a, a, over your head. Is it? Can I do it this? Or maybe it was just the hit. No. Well, I don't think I, was... I can make it in one jump. I don't think you can. I think no. I have you have to wait jump it a little out. higher. Yeah. <laughs> the great value name for them, yeah. <laughs> I didn't I didn't hold it as long as I should have then made. Uh, Can I do this? I find oh. the Pringles the worst. I don't know why. They like no, no. Uh, of the levels you're playing right now, they the are Pringles, hard. They, they like float down. You know, like you would expect a Pringle if you dropped it from a high height would kind of like flutter down. Or something. Yeah. Okay, as far as I can go. Oh, then there's that one, but it didn't kill me. They have a dazed potato chip. Dazed. <laughs> I bet they do Probably. somewhere. Um, some knockoff brand. So we are going to be buying a gaming computer. Yes, that's what soon. we're working on. We had a debate over whether there should be LED lights on it or not. I say yay. And I say I don't. I don't think so. You don't want it's LED just distracting lights. Distracting and annoying. I just like pretty LED lights. In particular, if they can be like rainbow colors. Yeah. You know, light up, light up the fans, and. Um, no, because we want to put a PC gaming machine in our living room. Yes. Um, we've had, through the years, as far as oh, modern consoles... You make me so angry. <laughs> Purcell, got... for final level. Oh, Look at this. Finally. Yeah. As long as they can be turned off. Yes. yes. And we found a case that actually... Whoa. Oh, oh, my. Oh, you're floaty. Oh, he's so constant. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm making a tiny bit of Octo progress. Charles. Holy sh... It's, it is Octo Charles. Oh, I have to get all these. The hearts? Oh, nice Octo Charles. That's oh, I really like... really nice. Oh, it looks goodness. very Medusa-like, actually. I like I like the Octo Charles. I have to get all the hearts. Mm, nice. I Lo can't move. Popeye. I can only jump. I can only move in midair. Lo-fi Popeye. Oh, like what it. happened? I don't know. That was a glitch, I think. Can I not hit the castle? Maybe you can't. No, I can't. No. I think it was a glitch. Oh my god. Some places I can move. Some places Too I can move. Too many ETs. Yeah. They're coming for you. Oh, it changes the Opto Charl Charl for a couple of different close. movements. Oh, does he? I can't even yeah, look at no, him. Yeah, no, it's I'm looking at him. He's pretty cool. How many hearts? No! no! <laughs> Oh! More hidden stuff. Oh no, I guess you just need to get enough hearts. Should I just go to her? Or I should know. I keep yeah. getting the hearts? I would go to her. Okay. <gasps> what? I died. Oh, there's some traps over there for sure. Oh. Oh, oh it lets you finish the level. Okay. Nope, no. Nope. Oh, there is a trap. Oh, there's that two heart hearts. just got bigger. Oh, it's two hearts. Maybe I should just keep getting the hearts. Yeah, I know. More hidden crap, says our tower collection. Yes, there, there is More a trap. More hidden crap. There's a trap right after the castle. So maybe you have to jump from the castle? Yeah. From there? Jump from there? I got all the hearts nice. here. You are so wonderful. Woo. Evil Atari Charles has been defeated. Yay! That's the end. The end. <laughs> Last. Getting last screen of Karatika, Karatika vibes. Nice. If... You approach 
the end, mm -hmm. the princess at the end of Karatika, mm -hmm. um, by um, going at her in a fighting stance instead of running at her, yeah, she'll kick you and you die, and it's game over. Oh, because every other guy in that game, mm -hmm. you have to come at them in a fighting stance. Oh, because they'll kick you and it's game over. So it's the opposite for the end of the game, oh, and you're that so is hilarious. You're so used to doing like that, like doing this, and she yeah, just kicks slowly you slowly, getting close oh and close. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Which begs the question: Why didn't I she just it. kick her way out of there if she's so deadly? <laughs> Uh, that is a good point. That's, maybe I, she never wanted to be saved. Uh, maybe she kicked your ass. Yeah. Uh, that's a great game. There's so much variety in the, in the the levels, mm. and it's really challenging. But it lets you try and try over again, which mm. is which is what you need for a game that is this hard. That's for sure. Mm. Yeah, great game. Okay, we're on to our last one. Uh, we're gonna break out. Oh, fancy. Uh, the big controller, the Adladen. Mm -hmm. Uh, dual 78 mm -hmm. or super twin super 78 because this is a dual joystick game. That cat is very dirty right now, he's full of filth. We need to vacuum up all the yeah, we do. Yeah, okay. um, very dirty cat. So, if you could undo these, I can get it ready. Sure, he's pretty cute though. Yeah, it's very cute. So so oh, let's get everything queued up for the last game. Which is Robots Rumble. Actually can't turn it hey, on. Hey yes, Ramirez. Till we switch over the controls. Yes, the twin stick is an amazing controller. It is. Very solid too. Like I, it's got a nice click to it. The um, the very joystick. arcade joystick. Yeah. 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 It has a really nice feel. Bratwursts are pretty good too, though. Yeah. If it's single, for I'll nice go with small, the Bratwurst. For a nice small controller. If it's dual stick, like Robotron or this mm -hmm. one. Oh, this is the wrong game. I did not. Micro switches. Yeah. Press the last. Step button. says, "Let's rumble." Let's get ready to rumble, which is a copyrighted phrase. Is it? Yep. So, Robots Rumble mm. controls. You may want to switch that to two joysticks. And we, I would set it to speed run. Really? Not because beginner? on speed run, you get to try over and over the level until you complete it. Yeah, but on beginner have... or pro, you will die and you'll have to start all over again at the beginning. Oh, so, we so each level you get to redo, but yeah. don't you have to do it in a certain amount of time? It j the timer just keeps going. Oh. So I want to do it in speed run so we okay. can look at the levels. The levels, okay. Um, so this is by Chunky Pixel Games. Uh, go to start, up to start. There you go. I forget how to control these now, but you have to remind me. Oh, you went to instructions. Oh. No, I didn't. Oh, it goes to instructions anyway, then. Yeah. So the left one moves the left uh, magnet, the mm -hmm. right one moves the right magnet. Check, 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 check. It's a little bit louder, so... Turn down the overall volume. Yeah. Oh, and that is going to kill me. Oh, well, let's just die. There we go. <laughs> but you get to start on the same screen. Oh, really? Yeah. Great music in this. Uh, music by Bobby Clark, Synth Papalooza, uh, and Mike Sarner, Rev Inge, who did graphics and sound, and Matt Smith, uh, MK Smith, who did the programming. So, this is the final version, which was posted on February 16th, 2022. Still getting used to the volume of us and the game so let me know if it's if we're not if the game's too loud while we're talking it should be okay you do remember how to play this that's good um so this is a conversion of an original spectrum game by migliatello um there's some nice graphics though the blue 
blue purple white color scheme reminds me of CGA. It does me as well. I think it's because it was originally made on the Spectrum and those are... Now be very careful when you guide him over to that one. Yeah. Because your left magnet will pull him off and go into the deadly grass. Mm -hmm. It's not grass, but... It feels it, like grass. Yeah. You have to kind of move it past um, after you put the robot down. I don't remember Music is okay. Excellent. It does well at quieting the game as you're talking, as you described. Excellent. It worked out. The v v volume might be a too low when it kicks in. Okay, I can turn that up. Check, check, check. Mm. I have to pull it. That's how I do it. Okay, yeah. never mind. I, I was like trying to remember. Never played a Spectrum, but it, I went in on the Spectrum uh, Next Kickstarter. Oh, Spectrum Next Kickstarter. Uh, and then after this was made on the Spectrum, it was made on the C64 and Vic 20 and then the Plus 4. Uh, Robot Rumbles, an arcade puzzle platformer where you use magnets to guide your robots to their death across four different planets. Still waiting for it. Oh, okay. Oh. Spectrum. Yeah, it, it was a European uh, console or um, computer that loaded all off of tape, I think. There's some pretty interesting games that were made for it. And it does, yeah, I did look at that as well, the Spectrum Next, and I was like, mm -mm. if I had any nostalgia for the Spectrum, I probably would have got it, because it does look really cool. You know, watch your left one yeah, go no, all the I'm way just, to the top. Where, where am I trying to... go. Probably want to bring him off. Not the first. This. There, yeah. Oh. oh, didn't work. Oh. I guess you have to. That's weird. Maybe he always goes right... No, he doesn't always go to the top. Stormlord is a specky game, right? Oh, I don't know any many Spectrum games. Um, just ones I watch from European YouTubers. <laughs> you are Slade, 45 years old, and yes, you love your job. To destroy broken robots, you'll be sent to different planets guiding the broken robots through different scenarios. Your mission, throw them into the lava with the exclusive help of two old big magnets. You'll be sent to different planets guiding the broken robots through different scenarios. Uh, your mission, throw them into lava with the exclusive help of two old big magnets. <laughs> the magnets have a limited battery charge. Not in this. Um, uh, they can be charged by picking up... Oh, we haven't got to the batteries yet. They can charge by picking up the batteries in the map. If you run out of energy, you die. If both magnets are aligned with the robot, it will stop moving. Sploosh! Well done. Planet 1 is done! Yay! Yay. ZX Spectrum is an interesting machine. For all its potential shortcomings, it kind of defined computing in the UK for a generation. And there are tens of thousands of games, many of them uh, unique. Level 5. Five. How did it, how does the levels work? No batteries in this mode. Oh, okay. Hey, I'm K Smith. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Very unique games for sure. They're an odd lot, but look fun. Yeah, the, they are odd a lot of them. And make for unending uh, YouTube videos for all the Europeans. There's so many videos. Oh. oh, I always hate that when you forget where, where your other yeah. man is. Always have to keep track of the opposite. Levels are six to zero. Oh, I see. It counts down instead of up because he's going down. So you're on planet two out of... How many did I say? Uh, four. Okay. Whoa. I think we should complete all four planets tonight. All four? Yes. What do you think? We're already on two. Yay! Okay, now move that left one out of the way somewhere. Or all the way down, I guess. 
so that he doesn't get onto the radioactive grass. Nice. And it's already there. I had the Timex Sinclair 1000 in the US. I wished I could upgrade to the Spectrum back in the day. Hmm. I just picked up a ColecoVision and promptly ordered the Ultimate SD card. Awesome. There's a lot of great Coleco games. Time that well. um, I have um, an RGB Coleco and the Ultimate SD as well. Don't play it much because I love the Atari. <laughs> it's such a great game. Go, go! Oh, oh, just in time. My oh my. So there's no batteries in this version with the time run? Because you wouldn't need batteries if you're really good at the time run. I'm guessing that's the the reasoning behind that. We'll have to watch you die next. The robot death animation is really cool. Mm -hmm. oh, no! Oh, yeah, sorry. Freaking out because I thought you were going to go in the radioactiveness. Well, pretty safe around there. Revenge created a little tool to drip collapse the robot when you die. Oh, oh we have to avoid those? I'm guessing. So I guess those make the robot dissipate, and that's not what you want. You have to get the robot in the lava. Lava only. Hmm. So it doesn't really matter which side you go for, left or right. It's all about just timing. Oh, oh the timing. He fell yes, faster. Yes, that is cool. He fell faster. Falls apart. Yeah. It's like... It's taking one. Oh, I'm still, I'm still a little, little early. One layer, it's layered at a time, and collapsing each layer, and then doing that with each of the horizontal pixels to watch it more careful. I'm just even, I'm worse. I'm getting worse. Yep, pretty much. That's what it does. But it does some at the same time. Really cool. Reminds me of the XO. Why would it remind him of the XO? It's the same musician. Yay! Yay! Two thirty. Want to do the next one? Oh, sure. Next planet. Planet three. Let's take it. Mm. Off you go, little robot. So the robot doesn't have any function, I'm guessing. Because... Um, so I needed to go up. What? Would you consider an occasional ColecoVision homebrew day just for fun? Oh, for sure. Um, I did I... like your Intellivision special. So. Oh, we'll definitely do a Coleco. Um, I've got some homebrew. Where am I going? Up. Yeah, but then... Oh, he pushes. I forgot about this level. Mm. That's right. And he pushes that. Then he can go across. Mm -hmm. oh, that's right. Oh, God. <laughs> he almost died. Yeah, you go up and up. There you go. There you go. And down. Woot! So this is robot timing, so I want to go this oh, way. Robots. Oh. Yeah, sometimes you're just a little off. It's it's. Um, I want to go. No, you're gonna move this way. Yep. Oh, oh yeah. I just mistimed it. Bad luck. It's so nice saying, "Oh, it was just bad luck." Mm -hmm. It's not that you did poorly. It's very nice. It's not. No, you're incompetent. <laughs> you play. No, it was bad luck. Oh, kittens! Oops. Kittens agrees. Oh. He says it was just bad luck. Okay. What do you want? Oh, we know what he wants. You got treats and you got catnip. Oh, he's such a sweet cat. Anyway, you were talking about our oh, gaming PC. Oh, that's right. Um, so we've got pretty much all the specs ready for it. Mm-hmm. Ugh, too early! Oh no! He goes really fast. He goes a lot faster than yeah. you think. Um, but in the because... past, yeah, in the past we've had uh, Xbox 360 and then a PS4 for modern consoles. And you've basically said at this point, if you're going to put your money into something, it's going to be a computer. It's going to be a PC. Be because gaming. modern consoles are PCs, PCs anyway, yeah. in a different box. Yeah. So, there's not a lot of point. Um, let's go there. Yeah. 
not a lot of point I find in getting a new Xbox or PS5 because they don't even come with discs anyway. So yeah. you don't have, and even if you do get discs, yeah. there's an instant update to those discs. So there is no point in um, buying those boxes anymore. <laughs> uh, so why don't you go there? Where do you find the time to play PC games with all this homebrew and a Switch? Well... <laughs> I don't. <laughs> You're more the PC gamer I at the moment. I play the Switch more, I think, than you do. Switch, yes. But you, uh, not you PC play gamer. a few games. You play you, a few And you games. play on the PC as well. I on do your play laptop. On PC, yeah. uh, so I want to go this way. Oh, a little bit more. <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, oh, we both easy. play on the Switch yeah. and the PS4. Yeah, but that's all. But there have been a lot of Switch games I've been interested in lately, and I like RPGs. I really want to play Elden Ring. Oh, oh, uh, I guess you have to destroy a robot. Yeah, yeah, you have to destroy that robot probably yeah. to get to the bad point. luck. Oh no. Um, but the laptop is kind of getting getting old. Oh, the Can't laptop. Can't play the newest stuff. Perfectly fine for work. <laughs> oh. Am I missing something? Do I have to push it the other way? Don't I'm know. guessing. Maybe. That's or can weird. I even push it the other way? No, I can't push it the other way. Hmm. My, what is happening? You must. <laughs> you must have to drop it on. You must have to drop it on the robot. But I did. It kind of looked like it landed right on its head. Yeah. There. Oh, I, it didn't. So I. I oh, killed it I this see. Time. So it just wasn't perfect. Yeah. Oh, oops. <laughs> <laughs> I have to. Move, no, move, oh. move that somewhere. There we go. Funny. Okay, so... No! 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 There. <laughs> so, oh, I see. I have to go here and hold him up in the air. Do you think so? Yeah. Watch this. No, you have oh, to move God. him over and then hold him up in the air. Oh my God! You have to move him over. So if you move, yeah, move that down, uh. Uh, <laughs> and then move it right to the bottom. I think that's what you. Like, mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, you get the get that down. <laughs> nice, and then move that right to the there. There. No. Nope. That one. There, and then. Slide him over, slide him over, slide him over. And then you want to draw him over so that he then goes up and he's above that robot so the robot can pass underneath him. Yeah. I um, I have to hold him up in the air, which means I have to have the magnet no. here on this side. No, you don't need it. No, up. no, no. He'll stay up in the air. He'll oh, float up. You want to keep the magnet right. on the ground. Or possibly move it. No, that's I right. Think. No, move it. Yeah. Oh, no, I want it here. You want it there because yeah. you want to pull him along. Yeah. And then you're going to have to... There you go. See? Okay. Yeah. And then you have to pull him out and then pull him over to time that perfectly. Well, go up and then down, right? There you go. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, there's a bunch of bombs here. Hmm. I'm guessing I have to do away with those... Um, yeah. And bomb them. There. Yeah. Ooh, that's tight. I'm gonna move them closer to the bomb, I'm guessing. Okay. That seems rough. Oh, oh my god. Oh no, you, you ooh. I have to stop him immediately oh after Oh my god, how do you do that? I just have to move this out of the way. <gasps> mm. Tanya. Ah. Tanya's correct. Tanya's, <laughs> Tanya's correct. You could just say that all the time. Oh, I have to kill him now. Or do I? I guess I could try. I guess you can go down that way. Well, I've got an X. No, you can go down. Go That's down true. and use. So move him to the middle. There. So he moves immediately over. Yeah. You know? So you do have an out. You do have an out. You just need to push that to, to move the bottom one. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's just a ruse. I think it's just showing you that what you need to do. And then you need to push that over so it hits that bottom one. Oh, the, the one The bottom one yeah. you can drop through. Yeah. You don't need to get any of the other ones. You just need to avoid. There you go. That was lucky. You I didn't, I didn't mean to. 
Do you prefer twin or single stick? Twin. Twin um, stick, I think. It's I've, much I've, easier. I've played with single. Mm -hmm. I, twin is faster, I think. I think so. Um, single's fine, but I, it's the button you can get mixed up. Yeah. Uh, twin is way better. So I can just drop straight down. Yeah, that's fine. This cat is being very And then drop straight down again. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And then drop into that. Yay! Yay! Planet 3! Uh, that was Planet 3. So yeah. this is fourth planet we're yes. on. Last planet. Yep. Um, that seemed too I'll, easy. <laughs> yeah, I did. The last level was like, something is wrong. Ooh, ice planet. Ice planet? Planet Bowyer? Bowyer. Bowyer. So we don't want to go to the right because that's death. Yeah. Okay. Easy yeah, enough. Oh, tough. God. What oh, the hell? What is that? What? What? Uh, am I protected between those barriers? Maybe. You can try. Ooh, I must be. That doesn't I don't make know any what sense. Else, I don't know how otherwise. else. But then how do you get out? Where are you going? Oh. What are you doing? Where are you going? I don't know. I don't have any things. I don't know. Maybe see what happens when you go through. Oh, maybe it's a teleporter. Oh, it is Ooh, a teleporter. teleporter. Okay, so. Hmm. And then you want to go down the to the timing's bottom. pretty even, so. Yeah. If I just go. go Ooh, yeah, teleporters. Yep. Teleporter. Okay. Very nice. Oh, those fall through. Oh, they're they're like ice. Nice. Yep. Yeah, definitely want to go on that side. That's too easy. <laughs> that was too easy. Uh, did 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 did. Okay. Last world is really easy. Mm. Um, Up order. So you probably want to move that down. Yeah, there. And then that's going to be hard to time, but yeah. Uh, okay. So you want to go down and down. That's fine. Up and it then works. down one, and then it he should pull you. Easy. Oh, good stuff. Uh, okay. So I want mm. to go there. Mm -hmm. Go, 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 go. How do you get over them? Ooh. What? Just have to go. Down and ooh. Go that's for it. Tight. That is very tight. And then I need to go right over me. Right over there. And there is no. The timing just has to be right. So yeah. I'm guessing it's t timed mm -hmm. up so it is right. Unless you can go boop, 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 but I don't think you can. Oh! <gasps> oh! Okay, oh, but that, okay. that's fast. That's good. Uh, the Commodore version does that joystick method, but it was very hard in practice. Did they not mm -hmm. offer the two joystick method in mm -hmm. the C64? Because it does have two port joystick ports. Turn that bad luck again. Bad luck. <laughs> so... Come on. Oops. Oh, almost, much. almost. I, did, I didn't time it very well. No, it was more keyboard. Oh, keyboard would be fine going up and down. That'd be keyboard fine. would work. Yeah. yeah. So, let's go up. Yeah. Nobody Good. actually had two C64 ah. joysticks. I did. Because <laughs> I, I played with two player all the time with my friends. So. But one of them was not a very good joystick. The big one with the red with the stick ball and on the, the white, top. Bot white button and yeah. The two buttons, one on the base, one on the top. Yes. Yep, the exact joystick. Everyone I had. had that joystick. It was a good joystick. It's pretty intense. So you want to go? Uh, you want to bring that that one to this there. second bottom, and then over, 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 and then down one as yes. it falls. So you want to time that properly. Stop. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That was close. Woo! That oh, was tight. It's lava time. Oh, there's lava. Ooh, oh, you're gonna fall, so you have to yeah. go to the left and avoid whatever that crazy go. ball is. There. Oh. So that will go over and up. Ooh, it will. 
Oh. So that will go over and up. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that's that was planned. Ya. That was planned. That's yeah. how they get you. They knew. And then you have to move it. Oh god. No. Um, I know. I know. Keep it there, but then before you do the last one, move, move it over. It. Yeah. Move it. Yeah. I just was not watching. This actually, this last world is very easy once you know it. Yeah. Move the other guy. Yeah, might as well move him now. And you just go for it. Oh, one more. Well done, completed game. Fifteen forty one, new world record. Not even close. No, I don't. Think new so. personal best. Yeah. Combined personal best. Combined personal best. Yeah. yeah. See, look, two thirty in the second one. I That's did pretty very fast, fast pretty, actually. Pretty fast. Yeah. yeah. Look at those bouncy robots. <laughs> Let's listen to the music. See, the music turns up when we don't talk. So we get to hear it, like and it. they get to hear it. Working well. That's working well. I wanted to implement that a long time ago, but I just never got around to it. But yeah. so. so the robots look really happy for Yeah, it's much go. harder with the batteries. Yeah. So running, Where you have to keep getting batteries to keep going. Yeah, right? so running through it normally yeah. without speed run. Yeah. But I wanted to show it off tonight, show yeah. the levels. Yeah. The levels are cool. Looks like I might enjoy the speedrun mode, mode more. Yeah. Mm. So if you want to just see all the levels and, and get and used to what they are. And then try it with the batteries, right? Once you get yeah. used to Yeah, because the batteries are a different game because you have mm -hmm. to go get the batteries. To keep going. To keep going. Yeah. And I don't think they're in line. No. Where. With your path. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, it's too easy. Yeah. Yeah. It's so a nice cool. graphic. It is. I love it. And, and the, the colors are very retro computer or mm -hmm. well yeah retro pc or retro um you know european spectrum i, I mean it yeah. does remind me of of uh impossible missions so yeah they're robots i love those robots so very fun games tonight retro spectrum yeah retro definitely a category <laughs> <laughs> retrospective retrospective so we played dragon's havoc tonight mm -hmm um great great uh finesses on that i uh, will we'll play it again we'll do a full run through of it of all the levels we will die we will yeah. use continues <laughs> um stay a while stay forever destroy him my robots and the adventures of ollie troll uh more fun than i expected yeah it was very challenging some creative graphics in there simple but hard <laughs> retro arcade look to the black and white yeah simple but hard it's like you know what to do it's just really hard um some some pixel perfect landings which i'm not a super fan of but here it wasn't too much mm -hmm. it was just like here and there you had to do perfect pixel landings and and jump over things phaser cat game searching toilets yes searching looking in the lid yeah searching, searching. <laughs> and robots rumble a huge yeah. accomplishment amazing port um super super fun mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Revan Tooley, for making uh, Dragon's Havoc mm -hmm. an amazing shooter. I love shooters, so yeah, it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, so what is coming up on the show? Let's take a look. As soon as it loads up, boom. Uh, make it a little bit smaller. Um, we have Aardvark and Stratovox to play in After Dark. Uh, it won't be tonight, maybe tomorrow mm -hmm. night. We could do that. We have to paint the wall upstairs. Not the whole wall, just <laughs> little areas of the wall. It's not do that hard. Do we need to paint the wall? Yeah. Do we need to clean us a little bit too? We need too? to clean because yeah. we have a, a Paul Thomas Anderson marathon this weekend. Movie marathon Movie starting marathon. on Saturday, so that's fine. Yeah, so we do have Thursday we have and Friday. We have friends coming over, so we do need to make sure that We don't really have Friday because we do this clean. show. We do this show on Friday. Thursday. It's, it's cleaning. It's, Am I doing the show on Friday or is Darcy? You are. I am. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so Aardvark and Stratovox, there's been a lot of scores put up. So mm. we have our work cut out for us. Mm -hmm. um, but we both played 
both of them. So yeah, we're familiar with the games. Strata box. I'm trying to remember. It's a bunch of shooting. The things move around, and then they steal things on the right hand side, and then run away. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I Ardvark. I've played a lot of you. Yeah. Have mm -hmm. you seen like Chris? That is part going to be part that's of our the, movie. That's marathon. the third night. Yes. Of the marathon. Of the it's the last marathon. It's the last movie. Yeah. That we'll be watching. Yeah. So. Looking very forward excited. to that. I've heard very, very good things about it. Yeah. Uh, first day is his first three features. Yes. Uh, which is Hard Eight, Boogie Nights, Boogie Nights, and Magnolia, Magnolia, plus a bunch of shorts and his music videos. Yes. In that era. Yeah. So I'm doing it all in uh, order of release date. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of short films. He's got a lot of short films. I think. No. No. Like two, and the really? rest. Or maybe three, three or four. Does They're he have music out. videos or something? Tons of music like 25 videos. music videos. Really? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah. When we when we say a marathon, we mean everything. Everything he's done. Everything. Usually, I stick to directing unless he unless they write something that's really like, significant. Yeah. Really significant. Yeah. But I yeah. think he's he does writing directing in his own films. Yeah. Um. Mm. And we will be play. Yeah. So it might be Thursday. Oh, it might be tomorrow. Why not tomorrow? Uh, well, it depends. Oh, yeah, I can't do Thursday. Uh, Thursday's hard so for me too. So, so maybe tomorrow night. Maybe we'll, tomorrow evening. Yeah, we'll do After Dark maybe tomorrow evening because we do have to fit that in. Or yeah. Or else it's next week, early next week. Yeah. Oh, we also have to do Tober's Nightmare and Turbo Arcade. Yeah, at some point. I'll have to see when those end, but mm -hmm. I, we'll see. Uh, then on, uh, actually on Friday... I think this is Friday. We have yeah. the exclusive final binary of Space Pac-Man. Oh, nice. So have that to look forward to and uh, to be determined. Something so else. I'll throw some other 2600 nice. games in that have been released lately or nice. maybe another throwback. Good stuff. Uh, then another to be determined. And <laughs> then when Darcy's back, we're going to be playing a whole bunch of uh, Atari 8-bit games mm -hmm. all by the same person. Um Pretty interesting set of games, cross-platform, compiled for 8-bit, and like 20 other systems. Mm -hmm. um, and then on April 8th, oh, that's April 1st. I don't think we'll do any April Fool's things. I'm terrible at them, so. <laughs> uh, on April 8th, Razor's Edge, uh, exclusive world premiere of that. That's on your day. So there you go. Nice. It's by the guy who did Keijo Chases the Cheese. Oh, cool. Okay. I don't know anything about it. Okay. So it should be fun. Excellent. Um, Atari Age Day. Don't know when that's Unknown. happening. It's still not set yet. But... I'll be contacting the developers very soon. Okay. About that. Cool. That's uh, always a fun day. Yes, it is. We get to talk to a bunch of people, pl open up I boxes, play, play games. games. I Tanya play plays mall. tons and tons of games. I get very excited. Uh... <laughs> Every time I see TBD, it reminds me of Free Guy. She's watched it. I've watched it. It was very, very, very funny. You understand that reference? I don't, actually. I don't remember oh. that, but I watched it on a plane. So. Okay. You may have fallen asleep um, in there. I did enjoy it a lot. I actually think you would find it very funny. Okay. Yeah. I'll yeah. take a look. It's, it's, it's light fare as far as movies. Yeah. Not serious stuff, but it is actually very funny. I watched At the Waterfront on the plane. At the Waterfront. Of course he did. <laughs> Which was very good. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. I tend to watch old films because they often yes. have a whole slew of old films I would never normally watch. Yeah. And they have them on the plane and I'll watch black and white films and stuff. Yeah, that's and what playing. I usually watch too. Me, it's so crazy because I always think, oh, I wanted to watch this for a long time. I'll throw this Because they on. don't have special effects. So you don't no. have to worry about that. It's no. a lot of talking. Tiny little screens. So you yeah. don't really care if it's in black and white. Yeah, and... that's what I usually go for. Yeah. Anyway. Um, <laughs> we are going to be playing Dark Keep at some point, maybe in April. That's a board game conversion. Mm. Oh, nice. Uh, Champ Game Secret Homebrew Ooh, secret uh, home in brews. two months. Um, Developer Spotlight on Todd Fermansky, nice. Revan Tooley, whose game we played tonight. Uh, so we'll be playing through all of his games, looking back at them. We're going to be having him live mm. for an interview. And we'll be doing the exclusive world premiere of his newest game, Harpy's Curse. Mm -hmm. Looks like a lot of fun. It is a side-scrolling, multiple-level, flapping bird adventure type game. Okay. Like Flappy Bird or like no, it's, Flapping Bird it's adventure? It's more like a joust. Okay. Joust kind of, you fly up to different platforms and you go down you i don't know collect things kill things he's just started mm. so he's only released a couple videos of it it looks really fun 
Uh, yeah, and a bunch of other stuff um, that I talk about every single time. So, uh, lots of things coming up. Uh, so, hope you join us again. Mm -hmm. um, so, thanks for joining us, everybody. <laughs> Tonight, RC70, Nostalgic26, Atari2600, Mick Muse, Revan Tooley, thank you for your game once again. It's Wonderful. so good. So oh, good. I wanted to keep playing it, but yeah. we'll have to do that another night. <laughs> and then After Dark. Yep. Um, probably when you're completely finished, we can do another yes. complete After Dark. Yeah. Uh, S. Ramirez, uh, Phaser Smith Cat Games, in at the oh, there. MK Smith, Dan ABC, ABC. Uh, Charles Whelan, Charles Whelan, Med Lunar 7, lots of people, lots yeah. of people, Ivory Tower Collections, hey Jesse, hey, um, who else, who else, <laughs> Auto the same, steps, steps, steps jumped oh, in, let's haven't rumble. Seen them in a little while. Kotoko. Oh, looking forward to playing your 10 line games oh, after they're all done. Oh, yeah. Got, he's got Q Bert. Oh. It's called Bert. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I'll do it on a Darcy night. <laughs> do it on a Darcy night. No, unless you want to hear me complain. Yeah. Um, let's see. A cardboard box. Hello. Hey, we cardboard just got box. here, but we're happy to have you. Spray guy. Old style. Mm -hmm. Lots of talkers. Yeah, and I'm I, always happy to see lots of people chat. Yes, thank you for hanging out yeah. with us. And uh, that's it for tonight. Yes. So, everybody have a good week. And we will be back on Friday with another 2600 exclusive game, Space Pac-Man. So, watch out for that. Mm -hmm. um, so, we'll see you on Friday, yeah. everyone. Thanks for joining us. See you then. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Have a good night.